Now, the other thing we want to talk about was sort of distributed development. One of the uh, proposals we've talked about was this idea of, of having all of the Ubuntu source packages and therefore all the resulting builds in Bazaar or a distributed uh, system like that. That would have a huge impact on the way developers work uh, and would be a lot of work to implement and a lot of time for, from canonical sysadmins and things like that. Worth it in the long run, you think? I do, because I believe very strongly that the quality of a free software product ultimately depends on the quality of its leadership, the quality of the um, 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 processes by which it is run, and the quality of the participation that it's able to attract. Participation is kind of everything. Um, and at the moment, we... we Ubuntu is particularly open to participation, um, but there are certain sorts of areas where, where, where you have to jump through a lot of hoops in order to be able to participate. By moving to a very open sort of version control system, we gain a lot more flexibility in being able to actually exchange code and, and integrate ideas from people who we didn't have much of a prior relationship to. So I think it's very, I think it's very worthwhile. I'm a huge fan of distributed version control, and I guess we think about distributed version control from a unique perspective because we're not trying to, we're not trying to pick a, a platform that's perfect for any one project. We're trying to pick a platform which works across all free software projects because fundamentally something like Ubuntu reaches its arms out around all free software projects because ultimately if there's any free software project out there that people want to have on Ubuntu, we want to get it onto Ubuntu. So, so our perspective on what makes for a good platform for this kind of collaboration is kind of unique. We, we even care about Windows users. We want Windows developers to be able to participate and help make something better you know, for them, which can also make something better for Ubuntu. So, um, so that's why we've, we've, we've put a lot of work into, um, into distributed version control, and where we have strong opinions on distributed version control. Um, so I'm delighted if we can actually get um, if we can get to the point where you can participate in Ubuntu either through one of the sort of formal package-oriented structures like Motu um, or as a core developer, or participate you know, in the packaging of a specific, a specific set of packages, um, you know, like, like OpenOffice or Wine or Firefox or you know, all the Zool-based projects, whatever your sort of interest in is. Or, at a lower level, actually participate in the version control and say, okay, you know, I, there's this particular patch that I found over here and I want to contribute it. And, and our ultimate vision is to be able to have it so that any distro can pull any of those patches using a sort of a simple standard interface. So again, we have a fairly unique perspective on, on what the fundamental capabilities of a platform need to be in order to meet all of those very general requirements. Okay, and just to wrap up, um, by the end of the week, what do we think we'll have uh, learned? What's the most important thing we're going to take away from UDS? Well, first, that, the, that this is a sort of vibrant and productive event. And, and it's just, if you look at the numbers, right, UDS has just gotten bigger and more interesting um, sort of every time we've done it. Um, second, that we also love each other, you know, because <laughs> there's, there's a lot of, you know, heated opinions and, uh, and, and folks are all passionate about getting a result that, 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 that they can that they can champion, um, and third that that the that, that the ibex is going to be you know uh, um, an exciting an exciting delivery vector for all of the amazing stuff that's happening in the free software world. Mark, thank you very much. Cheers.